So Neil, this is an amazing picture. We're delighted to receive it. I just wonder if you could tell me a little bit about the idea behind it and yeah, how long it took to create. Well, you know, during this pandemic, this, this gentleman just appeared on the news, um, raising funds for the NHS, and all of a sudden he became world famous. And there were some other artists that were painting him. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'd like to paint him not really knowing what I was going to do with the painting. I knew that I wasn't going to sell it. I was hoping that, yeah, I could raise some money for the NHS, which I did, uh, not as much as Tom. Um, and I was sort of like hoping that maybe he'd be aware of the painting and he could decide where it was going to go. But then it was only when he became world famous that I realised there was no way I was ever going to be able to get in touch with him. But finding out on his 100th birthday that he'd been made honorary colonel here at the Foundation College, I thought, well, why not? Let's just give it a go. And it happened, and it's just the perfect end. I could not have wished for a better ending for this painting. It's just amazing. It's the perfect home for him, it really is. It, it is great, I mean, I think this now provides a centerpiece for us. As you say, he's our first honorary colonel. We're training the youngest soldiers in the British Army. I think linking his inspirational achievements to the youngsters, their journey, yeah. and, and lining his values to what we want them to learn and understand. Yeah, and he's yeah. got some amazing core values as well, he really has. He's remained so humble throughout all of this. Yeah. And um, hopefully the NHS rainbow behind him will still have the impact of, of what he really stood for. What was it that made you to sort of depict him in this particular way, in, in this sort of angle? You know, what, what well, was this, the... this was the most common image that there was. Um, you know, you can tell that he's an elderly man. I mean, this was obviously when he was 99 years old, but so proud of his, his military background, hence the medals that he always wears. And it was just, just that sheer determination in his face that I'm gonna walk these laps of my garden and I'm gonna raise that money. And it was just, I, I, I'm hoping that I've captured that, that regimental determination that he's still got in his blood. And I think I have, I think so I have. So now he's, he's receiving his knighthood. Yep. Uh, are you going to come back and draw on the, <laughs> the additional medal or the decoration? Well, unfortunately, I'm a bit superstitious. Once I've signed a piece, I can't edit it, so I can't put anything on there. I mean, somebody said to me, oh, you should have put his, his honorary colonel medal on there, but I'd already signed the piece. So um, unfortunately, um, that's just a, a superstition of mine. And um, So we'll have to get you back to paint a brand new one. <laughs> Maybe we can do a new one. <laughs> but I would only ever paint a new one for the Foundation College here. I've agreed never to paint him ever again, unless it's for the college here. Well, look, uh, we, are, we are absolutely delighted. It's a, it's a really fitting tribute, it's artistic, the quality's brilliant. And I say it will be a, a real centerpiece for us that links the story of uh, Captain Sir Tom Moore to the Army Foundation College forevermore. So oh, it, was, it was an absolute honor and a pleasure, it really was.